Hi everybody, it's Joel. Um, again, I'm still documenting my uh, loose collection. So um, I wanted to go over some of the uh, Chevrolet trucks I have. Uh, I'm a big fan of Chevys. Um, I also like certain castings. And um, if it's a Chevy truck, I'll generally collect it. Okay, so uh, a lot of what I have are mostly pickups. Uh, but I do have some blazers. Uh, again, this is just a loose collection. Uh, some of these are premium models, like this one with real riders. I honestly don't remember where this came from. Um, this is called the 56 Chevy. I'm pretty sure that's what it said on the bottom. You know what? It says 1955 Chevy. That's the first time I've seen that because I think this goes by another name. This is now from the uh, Cop Rod series that KB Toys had. Let's see if I get some more light. And this is the Santa Fe Police Department. Okay. Again, with real riders. Uh, this was a vehicle that preceded uh, car culture. Uh, it came out a couple years ago. It's called the 56 Flesh Cider. So. That was the name I couldn't think of. However, the one says 1955 Chevy. Maybe you could see that better on the base. I think this one says the same thing. says 55 Chevy and this one says 56 flash cider let's take a look at them they look the same Right, so it's just one of those vehicles that uh, it's been around a while and it's got two names. So they turned it from a 55 or 56 flash slider and now it's a 55 Chevy. And this one is also labeled 55 Chevy. How about that? Um, I know that some of the flash slider ones, uh, they, because they look so much like Chevy trucks, even before they started putting this on here. Uh, they gave it a GM trademark. Um, so if you see, I think I've seen them, it says 56 Flash Cider, and then it has a GM trademark on the base. Uh, that was from the, uh, that's from a five pack. I forget where that one's from. I don't know if that came out of a five pack or if I bought that in uh, as a regular release. Okay. This one's kind of cool. This is from the Steel Stamp series. Oh, that came out a while ago, back in the 90s. It's like around 96, 97, 98. And this one doesn't even have a name on the base. But it has the copyright date of 1991. But I know for a fact it's not from 1991. Okay, this one has a copyright date in 1991. The Handyman Truck. Okay, but that was the Steel Stamp Series. 
All right, got a couple of those actually still have them in the package. Um, this one has an interior because it has uh, see-through windows, although it's hard to see the interior. Um, I guess this is like a magenta color, hard to tell. Tell if it say 1991 or 1994. I'll take a look at this later and find out what it says. I'm still waiting for my new eyeglasses to come in. Uh, this is a duplicate, so they used to wear the same. Uh, here's a new release. This is the 67 Chevy C10. Cubs in the back. That little box right there. That uh, is a fuel cell. So this one with the Cubs is always going to have some wide tires on there. Okay, the low stance. So I kind of like that one. This one came out of a five pack. It says Cherry's Electric. And this is the customized C3500. Alright. Now, there are other manufacturers that have 3500 series trucks. All right, but that's definitely a Chevy front end. Okay. However, there's no trademark. Now, this came out, I guess, in 19... Oh, this body came out in 1998. Um, it's 19, 1997 um, copyright date. So it came out as a first edition in 1998. All right. Eighty-three Chevy Silverado. Uh, this one's got an air tank in the back. Place for the uh, the wheels to go when they're sitting low. Here's another C10 67 Chevy. Chevy Silverado Flames. Actually, it might have been from the Flame series from one year. Same thing. Hot Wheels. Same thing. Different color. Here's one with a variation. Um, and I'll show you one. Um, this used to come with a surfboard in the back. This is a custom 62 Chevy. All right, that does come out and it's got a hole there. Um, they no longer come with a surfboard. They now come with um, what looks like a molded and broken uh, skateboard in the back. Okay, at the PR5, so I really like that one. That came from the five pack. Um, I got two of these, so I got them just in here because they go together. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So this is two different versions that were released. One came with the surfboard, and the other one came with a broken, I don't know if that's a surfboard in the back or something else, but it covered up the hole where the surfboard uh, runs into. Uh, and another casting change. Notice this one here has a sunroof. This one doesn't. Just notice that. I had not noticed that before. 
so. Still known as a custom 62 Chevy. So both with the surfboards and the sunroof. Here's a Chevy Blazer 4x4. There's a lot of plastic in this. I think this is the Walmart truck series. I can't remember. Or the camouflage series is kind of like a camo on the side. I don't really remember. Okay. Here's another custom 62 Chevy. Nothing in the back. No sunroof. Closed roof. And so there's some variations for you on the 62 Chevy. Here's a custom 69 Chevy. Feels electric. Remember where that came from. Here's another one. Uh, I think that was the trucks series that you get at Walmart. another purple or magenta one this one looks like the different shade of green too Let's see if it shows up underneath the light but it has a different shade of green The one on the right looks like it's got a little metal flake, and the other one's more flat. Okay, so at first glance, it might look the same from a distance, but it's got a different uh, tampo on the hood and the side. Unfortunately, I don't remember where that one came from. I think this was the new edition or the first model to come out. Um, another issue. Nope, I'm wrong. This part of the bed right here I thought was part of the, um, was metal. But it's actually part of the interior. Same thing here. That black piece in there is part of the interior. Let's see this side. This is a Pompeo model, so I do have a lot of these. Um, looks like I can't read that. Looks like a wrestler. Oh, this was from uh, like a circus series. So it's advertising for a circus a fire eater. <clears throat> um, there was a couple different variations of this one, if I remember correctly. I think it was in the wheel variation. Okay, this teal one. So this one's been out a while. It's been out since the 90s. Uh, 
here's a new model that came out in the pop culture. Uh, this is a Chevy. It is a custom Chevy Greenbrier sport wagon. It's a Corvair sport wagon. The engine's in the back. Now this one's all souped up. All right. So surfboards on top. This came out in, like I said, pop culture for uh, Nestle because this, this has got Nestle chunky on it. Real rider tires and their red line real riders. Here's another Nestle one. This might have come out in the same, the same Nestle. Uh, this is the 51 GMC COE. COE is cab over engine. Okay. This has yellow line tires, it looks like. And the bed does not tilt or anything like that. Okay, it's fixed. This is a new model. It's a 52 Chevy. And this is the Zamek version. The original version, I believe, came out in red as a new model. This is one that's been out a while. This racing truck. And this is called the Chevy S10. But this is kind of nice because it's got the roll bars that go to the window, the wheelie bars, the wing. You just don't see this anymore. You don't see this bottle anymore. Uh, it's Pro Stock Chevy S10 is what it's known as. Copyright date is 1999, so this was a 2000 first edition. Here's some more variations of uh, the Custom 62 Chevy. I think these came out in the same year because they look like the same Tampa design, just different colors. Um, and again, each one has the surfboard, which they no longer provide, probably because it's a choking hazard. You know, little kids will get a hold of it and swallow it. So that would be my uh, belief that they, uh, they ceased it. Okay. Here's the 83-84 GMC panel van. Uh, this is the 18 van. GMC and Chevrolet, they look the same, just badging options. GMC is a more upscale version, but this is the 18 van. This was a first edition. This is known as the Chevy Silverado. Um, this is from the Artistic License series, I think it's called, or the Art Car series, where it spells out something with the letters on the roof when you collect all of them. Um, you notice the wheels. Different colors it's supposed to be like that. I think there was another version of this one originally came out of motorcycles in the back, but you don't find them anymore with that. This is an oldie. Uh, I forget what they're calling this, but it's a metal body, metal base. Okay, with the uh, construction tire. Metal body, metal base. I bought that at my uh, club meeting. And <clears throat> it's a blazer. Okay. 
they used to have opening doors. Compare it to the newer Blazer and how they changed the casting. So they took out metal, they put in this for the roof. Used to have a raised area, like if you're going to store luggage. So that's how you see how castings have changed over time. This one I believe I've had for a while. Doors open, kind of nice. This is really cool. Uh, they just called this Blazer 4x4. And then it's got the construction tire. This is a new one, came out in the last year or so with the fire department tampo. The 07 Chevy Tahoe, it's a plastic body metal base. This might actually be good on the track. Two variations of this truck. It's got a copyright date of 1996, so it was a 97 first edition. And it's a 1996 Chevy 1500. It's got a metal base. Wheels. Wheels are the biggest thing. It's like a slight difference in the tampo for the number. One has the Hot Wheels logo on the bed cover, the other one does not. Now I just have different wheels, but they say Goodyear Eagle. This just has the regular five spokes. The placement of the Hot Wheels on the right is different than the placement of the Hot Wheels on the left. It's lower on the hood, closer to the, uh, the front edge. Now I don't know if that counts as a variation or not. Right off the bat with these tiny sponsor logos, I really don't see any. I'm not seeing any differences. This one's been out a while. Um, I think this goes by Byway Man, but this is based off a Chevy truck. And it even has a copyright date in 1977. And I guarantee you this one did not come out in 77. All right, so if it has a copyright date of 77, it was a new model in 1978, most likely. Okay. Uh, but metal body, I don't remember where this came from. I can't remember. I have so many, I forget where I get them. I forget how I acquire some of them. Another Chevy race truck with the race theme. Okay. This one is a Chevy truck, but it doesn't say so on here. Uh, what this is is a super um, California custom. And the back kind of lifts up like that, and it pops the engine up. And there's some big slicks that go on the back here so you can make, it fits over the regular wheel. And it makes the tire like really much bigger, okay? Um, this is kind of beat up. This was given to me as a gift by a friend. Okay, picked it up. All right, so. And then I'm gonna push it down, just. Use the engine down. But that's a that's not a high raker 
Um, it's a Super California Custom. This is a duplicate. This is the same truck as this, except it's not 4x4 four four or standing so tall. Well, it's actually, I think the wheels make it look tall. I think they're sitting at the same, they're almost sitting at the same height. Might be a little bit lower just because I think these wheels have ridges, so it might raise it up just a slight tad. This is the plow. This one's made in Hong Kong, so this one is really pretty old. Um, it might have come out in the 90s. I don't remember. Here's another one with the metal base. And this was a serious car. It's kind of got like a Indian or Southwestern theme on here. All right, so that's it for my uh, Chevy truck collection. Um, I'll leave links to some of the other videos. And uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call. Sorry, not a call. If you have any questions, please leave a note, uh, a message, and I'll respond. And uh, I hope you have a good evening. Uh, please uh, like the page and subscribe. Thank you.